difficult to find open roads in parts of northern Minnesota and northwest Wisconsin today. A lot of around a foot of rain fell up there over the weekend. The floodwaters washed out several roads, including this Highway 23 bridge in Carleton County. Check out this area from the sky. This is what it looks like from Drone 4. There is massive damage, as you can see. The Namaji River flows under that bridge. And this is what the river looked like at 4 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. And now see what it looks like at 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Rivers will continue to swell. A Christian Cordero has been running into roadblocks all morning up north. I'm only 14 years old and I've never seen water this high around here. We've been looking for Highway 35 for about the past three hours or so. Every single place we went to to try and find this highway was just blocked by either the flooded water like what we have right here or the road itself was totally damaged. So we finally found it when it met up with 77 and take a look just five miles up the road north in Riverside, a whole lot of water from the St. Croix River. The water over there never got past the center line and now it's taken over the whole road by at least three feet. And uh, I know up north is way worse because they've lost many roads, but these are only roads like this one. This 35 bridge is the only uh, bridge that connects us to Duluth and 53, Interstate 53 is closed and it's such a helpless feeling you can't, if the car does go, there's not much you can do. We're standing at the intersection of State Road 35 in Wisconsin and Markville Road right along the St. Croix River and get this, about an hour ago we were two and a half miles down that road. It took us that long to go all the way around and get here. Ashland, Wisconsin was also hit hard with heavy rains over the weekend. These pictures come from one of our producer's sister who lives there. She says the roads right now outside her home looked more like rivers yesterday afternoon. The waters have receded and it's sunny and humid there now.